thought it would be interesting to go over some of the features of this teletype trigger sequencer that I've written. Uh, the first feature I'll show you is the channel mutes. When I turn the parameter knob, uh, or I can use the inJack, it's simply turning the CV on and off in a binary coding which is just a convenient way to allow every combination of CV on and off through a continuous range of motion of the parameter. So I can use that for channel mutes. So now they're all muted. Let's turn on just the drum. And you'll notice it didn't come on until we wrapped the pattern around here. So I'll turn it on at the beginning. Oops, I missed. <laughs> uh, anywho, that's useful in longer patterns for uh, queuing things up before. Before the pattern wraps uh, so that everything happens on the beat. Um, you can, of course, use the CV directly, but the CV are read internally as though they were variables when the patterns wrap around. Um, the other major feature is how the patterns are read. So let me stop the sequence, reset it. Uh, we'll focus just on the first pattern and I'll set the length to four. So if I get this going, turn it down a bit. The If there is a one, it simply sends a trigger. If there is a two, oops. If there's a two, it sends a trigger every two wraps, three every three wraps, four every four, and so on. So you can build up complex rhythms in a very small space. And you can still use the space bar to deactivate the larger numbers. The other feature of this sequencer is that negative numbers represent probabilities. And the probabilities are 1 over the absolute value. So this is 1 over 1. It's 100% probability. This is 1 over 2. A 50% probability. And so on. 1 over 4 is a 25% probability. 1 over 8 is about 12 and a half. you can use these for organic fills in tracks that otherwise wrap. Let me set the length back. And so the uh, only other notable features of the sequencer, you can see now we're out of sync. Um, I can send a gate to script six and reset everything. And then also resets the pattern counts uh, so that all your modulo arithmetic will line up as well. Pretty sweet.